2018 uh, NCAA Division One Cross Country Championship Midwest Regional uh, here in Peoria, Illinois. Uh, sun has finally kind of come out. It's been pretty nasty, muddy, snowy, wet, cold, chilly, windy. Uh, Caitlin Klopp. Pronounce the last name before I mess it up again. Klopfer. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the uh, Tulsa sophomore with all region finish, 13th place today. Mm -hmm. um, the Manchester, Missouri uh, native and Parkway South grad. And um, just tell me, uh, you think 36 last year had a solid race as a freshman last year at regionals? And what were you at conference? You at uh, conference? I was at six this year at six, conference. Six two weeks ago at conference, yeah. and then uh, impressive all region performance today. What are you thinking and feeling now? I'm super excited. This is exactly uh, where I was hoping to be, kind of put myself out there, uh, work through a little bit, and it really couldn't have gone better. One of the best races I've had. And uh, tell me how the race played out. What were, where were you position-wise throughout the race? I'd say I started out about 25th, and just slowly, there was no big move, but I just gradually moved through the field uh, one by one. And definitely the girls started to come back. They probably went out a little aggressively, and so I was able to come through. Uh, and finish strong, which was a really good oh, feeling. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, you graduated from Parkway Central or Parkway South two yep. years ago, and yes. we're 20th in Class Four uh, state cross country meet uh, as a senior, and and I think PR is what 520 and 1130 ish. Yeah, so I've made some big track. strides since high school. And uh, and uh, tell me what what the keys to those success have been. Uh, I think the coaching and the teammates that I've had here, uh, the coaches have been amazing, and the girls that I run with, they make me laugh all the time, Including like right now. now. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's really great to be able to wake up with girls that inspire me every day. Uh, I'm so blessed to run with them uh, and just to make strides over the last few years. And uh, what, what's 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 been the mileage? Uh, what are you up to these days? And what was your max peak in high school? Uh, oh, in high school, I think I was hitting 25, 30 miles maybe. Uh, now I'm trying to hit 70 to 75 um, on a regular week, which has been a gradual increase since I started. It's been really, really good though, really good. And obviously the gullies, Coach Gully and yeah. <laughs> Coach, both Gully, Taylor, Gully yeah. and Sutton, <laughs> Steve and, and Taylor have done a great job of recruiting yes. and, and really developing Missouri runners and, yes. and a lot from the St. Louis area. What's it been like to be a part of that uh, Tulsa Hurricane program and, and uh, make a notch and, and to help help build up, continue the legacy, the strong distance running program at Tulsa? Oh, it's been amazing. I did not know what I was getting myself into when I started at Tulsa, but I couldn't be happier with the coaching I found here. Um, Taylor and Coach have been so encouraging. They help you along every step of the way. Taylor's very, very logical and Coach is very, uh, he's kind of like a dreamer and he'll uh, lead you and help you to your best. So it's yeah. a good balance. And I think, what, fifth place team-wise? Yeah, or I think we were actually eighth. Okay, place. eighth. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, and overall team, how, how was the team performance today? Really good. We've been dealing with a lot of injuries, but we really were able to put a solid top seven on the line today. A lot of girls who haven't raced the whole season were able to have really, really good performances today, which is and great. And obviously the uh, conditions were not ideal out there. <laughs> it was sloppy and muddy. A <laughs> little and, cold and for Oklahoma girls. <laughs> right, snow on the ground. What? Tell me uh, how you handled the conditions, if anything crazy happened out there. Uh, I think it was it was good. We, we had the long spikes in for the mud. We were ready for the snow. Uh, I don't think there's really any kind of conditions that can throw us. We're pretty much ready for anything. We had the armbands and the gloves. So even though it's cold for us, we can handle it. Well, after, what, a year and a half of college now, what does this just elevate what you need to adjust your goals to yeah. finish your college career at, you know, the peak heights you can reach? I think so. I think I just need to keep raising my standard and uh, setting new goals. It's, it's all really exciting for me. And uh, you just say no experience on the bike or swimming? No. <laughs> okay. So that we'll see what the future holds. I I can't even think that far ahead. So uh, maybe maybe not quite fall in the footsteps of former uh, uh, Parkway South state champ and uh, yeah. Tulsa and Tulsa star yep. and uh, Olympic triathlon or Sarah Haskins. Yeah. But uh, either way, you're you're doing pretty well. But, Thank uh, you. <laughs> um, um, what's 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 a couple week break and, and get ready for for uh, for indoors? What's uh, exactly. Yeah, I probably won't be racing till January for indoors, so okay. the distance runners will usually get um, December off. Just <laughs> It's like the one month we don't race, so. <laughs> and if you talk to coaches, how close were you 
to get maybe one of those uh, individual yeah. uh, Vince Nationals? I'd say I was, typically it's around eight, so I guess I was just like a few places off, which is hard, but uh, going in, that really wasn't, I was running for the team the whole way. That wasn't really one of my goals. I, sure. I just wanted to put our team out there, so. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll find out. We'll see how the yeah. large bids and uh, play out, and maybe right, you'll right. end up with one of those uh, individual great. bids anyway. So, uh, congrats on the great race and the great Thank season, you. Caitlin, and uh, keep it up and stay healthy. Thank you very much. Yeah.